I don't have a clue what this is about. <laughs> I've never of heard of Q. <laughs> I've never heard of Nightshade. I don't know what this is. I know it's an old school John Tron video, which means it's probably about a video game. Um, My brain literally turned that into a character kind of like Deadpool who walks around at night and just throws shade at people. Just, <laughs> it's not shade. I mean, that would could, be funny as shit. The claws of you. He's like kind of like drag, like he's got big old claws and just like roasts the fuck out of people's outfits. Or he just like kicks people's fucking doors in. It's like, you forgot to draw your shades. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. Puts down the shades yeah. in everybody's place. What are the claws? He just has claws uh, to do claws. it. Claws. Or cats fuck up shades sometimes on the windows. Oh, so it's like a cat man? Maybe he's got an enemy who's a cat man. I don't know why cat it's man a cat do. man. I mean, literally, we could just say it's cat, just cat Mando, woman. And his name's Hugh. Oh, okay. So Hugh Jackman. Is a cat man. Is a cat man with a leather, leather suit. He's got to have the whip. I guess. And he's mad because... Too. Shades aren't down at night because they just play with shades. The game to him, which makes and he like makes people makes angry. Not shade man or I shade. Like my, I, like I don't my, know. I'm anyway, better. we're going way too into our uh, <laughs> fake mythology and lore that we just made up. Oh. Um, and well, might as well because I'm usually wrong about my predictions. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we're sticking with. Let's check this video out and see if we were right on the nose. I hope so. Probably not. <laughs> Jumptron. Once upon a time, there was a land that had right. no heroes. I'm right. Ran amok. People, they were stuck in dead end jobs and sometimes in dirt, gravel, molasses, etc. Nice. And then there was light. From the hilltops, a shadowy figure emerged. He was light, but also shadow. He also had super strength, was made of metal, and had the properties of water. And he had great hair. It was John Tron Man and his trusty falcon, Greased Lightning. Greased Lightning. Together. They had really good hair. And then they made a billion dollars. Damn. Well, that was a load of shit. I think they used our <laughs> likenesses. Can we sue? Out the butt. Yeah, we should sue. Man, reality sucks. At least there were superheroes in fake. Let's go play one about it. <laughs> Let's see. What game do we want to play today? Uh, oh. Lil' Defoe basketball. <laughs> oh. Hey. Nightshade. Oh. Nightshade, starring the neighborhood watch guy. Don't let him touch your kids. <laughs> Nightshade is an interesting beast. It's a game made by Beam Software, the people who would go on to make Shadowrun. This game almost defies genre. It seems to mix and match them all over the place, but hey. Most importantly, ah, oh, superheroes. Nightshade, the claws of that. So, pathetic meddler, <laughs> your career is over before it has begun. Damn you, <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, 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 I'm, I'm actually playing? Well, what a start. I'm about to die. Oh, I got nice. it. Come on. Uh oh. Come, come. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, right. This is going to be a good game. <laughs> I think this should be the new standard. It's like, hey, you want to play some Sonic 2? Ba -bum. Well, I may have gotten blown up by a bomb, but apparently that's what happens when you're unpopular. Like Nightshade. Oh. Uh, what's this? Let's pick it up. Whoa, what? Excuse me, I didn't believe I was playing Tetris. What the hell? So apparently if you push the A button, Nightshade disappears and transforms into a, a blinking square. Yeah. Okay. I suppose what we have here is some sort of point-and-click adventure game hybrid. To interact with the environment, you move the cursor around and click on stuff. Now herein lies the problem with Nightshade. 
The A button is used to examine things, and the B button is used to operate things. But you come up to this crowbar here, and you're like, all right, it's time to pick it up. I'm just gonna, you know, fuck it all. Nothing unusual here. What about the fucking snake ass crowbar? Uh... It's obviously, it's different from the bricks. Nightshade's hard to impress. You take him to a history museum and you're like, look at that it's giant bronze like horse from the early BC times. And he's like, eh, nothing unusual here. You take him to future history museum and you're like, hey, look at that giant hologram horse from the distant CE time. times. And he's like, Nightshade can't do that. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to pick this up. But A don't do it, and B don't do it. So what do it? This controller only got to it. Them buttons. So get this. You gotta walk over to it just in the right spot, push select to bring up your menu, mosey on over to the pickup icon, move the reticule over to the crowbar, and then Nightshade decides, whoa, that's something what? that looks pretty unusual. I'm gonna bend down to oh, pick it up. Oh, wow. Uh, now, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal now, but this shit gets so convoluted. It's like, what are all these menu options? I just want to play the game. What is this? System settings? <laughs> By the way, watch out. That button doesn't quit the menu. It quits the game. I learned that the hard way, and it doesn't even go, are you sure? It's just like, Pfft. Dude. Mm. So, like, you go up to the <laughs> statue and examine it, right? And it's like the statue has a keyhole. Well, ain't that just a pickle peach? I picked one up in the other room. Well, let's use it on the statue so we can advance. Uh, so I push A, scroll over the key, mm, nothing, of course. What you actually have to do is hit select, go to use, mm, select the key, move the reticule over the item of interest, and then push A. That's how you do it. And you just keep fucking up and going back and getting lost in all these menus, not to mention, on top of the stress of navigating the menus, sometimes there's even a time constraint. How am I supposed oh, to do that? How am I supposed to do that? It's hard not to get flustered when you're just sitting there going, uh, I just, I just want to open this. I just, uh, how? How do I fucking open the fucking thing? Shit. <laughs> I get what this game was going for. I, I really do. It's trying to be a point and click adventure game like King's Quest or Monkey Island. But in those games, you have a whole keyboard and mouse. Here you have a D-pad, four buttons, and a disapparating protagonist. Hey, it's called a point and click. Not a slow scroll over there. Go, going in the menu? Keep going. Keep going. Ah, but that's okay. I, I can forgive it. Whoa! Look at that cup. Look at that old timey cup. Look at this chip tapping around. Happier than mongoose on snake salad. Hello there, fine sir. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Oh! Is that his hat? Oh, this game just went from check minus to check plus. Oh, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get! Come here! Come here! Let me get you! Let me get you! <laughs> oh, hey, look! I'm popular now! Okay. Wow. So, I guess there's nothing in this room then, except for that cop. I'm going around trying everything, nothing's happening. These curtains look important. Nah. Nightshade likes it to be night. In the shade, doesn't want to acknowledge curtains. Oh, fuck, cut that. Just cut that whole thing. So now, as always, we come upon the age-old point-and-click adventure game adage of having to try everything with everything. You on you, and occasionally trying you with you on you. It, <laughs> it, it didn't work. Let's try using the crowbar on this Anubis for a second. I'm sorry, what? Congratulations, you've just won the Jeff and Paul Award for Excellence in Shopping Centers? Actually, the crowbar snaps in two. Just kidding. Fool me once, I'm mad. <laughs> Fool me twice, how could you? Fool me three times, <laughs> you're officially that guy, okay? You know, you know the one. You go to the bar, he's like, this suit is uh, officially is a Giorgio Armani. Ask my dad knows him. Fuck you! <laughs> I ain't having that shit! So, what you're actually supposed to do is look at the painting from a distance. What? Let me go ahead and break that down for you. You're supposed to look at the painting from a distance, walk up to it quickly, and scuttle through it. This is clearly the obvious. So after all this nonsense, you turn off the water, and now you can finally exit the grate in the first area to enter the game's overworld. Oh, great. The grate's stuck. Cool. What a great grate. My great-great-grandfather had a grate that was greater than... Jeez, this is a big overworld. <laughs> How they fit so much onto this little cartridge? In fact, it seems everyone around Nightshade's town requires some sort of saving or another. Help! Save me! Well, you're oddly complacent for someone who's about to die a fiery death. 
You know? Oh! Oh! You're... Oh, my God! Just stay up there! Just stay up! I'm coming! I'm coming right up! Oh, jeez! Oh, Nightshade, my hero! Ah, shit. Well, I guess that's it. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so this is one of those games that just gives you no feedback whatsoever. I'm just going around doing random things waiting for something to happen, but oh my luck, it never does. Oh, you know, a giant rat. What oh god, does they he just sneeze at me? Gross. Fuck it, I ain't above punching rats! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> not Granny. <laughs> oh, my God. Did it break? The yeah, forehead? no. Yes, oh, my God, it did. He's got the steel chair, for the love of God! Oh my God! Not the scooter! This video is just wow. chaos! Absolute chaos. This is one of my favorites. Wow, that, uh, we, w we were almost on point with how fucking crazy and stupid we were being in the beginning right? of this video. Right? What? The, I, yeah, what? I don't even know. I don't even know. The video game didn't make sense at all. Yeah, the, the video, the, uh, not shade, what is it, the claws of hue. <sighs> Well, I think it was like the superhero had to break out of the underground lair and then just go around town saving people and fighting things. Yeah. I think that was pretty much the concept. But, dude, it the instruction manual. Just imagine when this thing came out, no internet, no way to look anything up. Oh, it doesn't tell you. And you had to call and pay, like, over the phone to get yeah. tips of how to play the game. Which is crazy to think about. Um... And it, like, trolls you, too. It's yeah. like the great-great-grandfather of the great-whatever. That's... It's kind Just of Just imagine though. putting in the hours of time that it would take to get to that point, and that's what you got. Dude, as soon as the whole, I couldn't click A or B for the thing to work, I'm done with I'm it. I'm done, too. I would, I would be it's so like mad. It's, dumb as somebody who's building the game to make it that way. It's very Because you're going to frustrate people out of buying it. Yeah. You know. Or people who do buy it are going to just bitch because it's a terrible... Well, you could rent games at the old video store yeah, back then, that's too. True. That's where I, I used to play a mass majority of my games were rentals. You know. I could never do that because I didn't have a system and I, I think that we had one and I couldn't do it because it was like a dollar more. So it was like, yeah, you can only get movies because it's more expensive yeah. to get video games. And so I was shitty. just like, damn it. Yeah, that was Even though that would too. like take so much more time, it would be more worth it to get a video game. You can entertain me for two hours or you can entertain me for like eight to ten the hours. Weekend, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, that that was uh, definitely a, a way to get around having to cash in and just buy games back then. 
A large majority of games that you would think, like by the cover art, would be badass, turned out to suck. Yeah. Like they weren't very good, so we, you had to pick and choose wisely. That's just like me at the um, video rental store. I always wanted to get the Puppet Master because I was like, no, this this cover looks so crazy, Dad. Like I'm a kid and just puppets and they're evil. And he's like, it's a shit movie. We're not getting that. I liked it. Oh, did you? I thought it was funny back in the day. I'm going to have to watch it. Yeah. Just because I never got to. Yeah, they're, they're interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, JonTron, wow, he just he just said fuck off pretty much at the end of this one. Yeah, this one was crazy. He just went Very into fuck funny. it mode. He was sitting there like bashing it with the steel chair. And singing into it. In, oh, into the motion. broken Thor yeah. hammer, yeah. Chad, it's Molnir. Don't call it Thor's hammer. Yeah, I don't comments. give a shit. I don't care what, what the name of Thor's hammer is. Uh... What a crazy video. JonTron just going buck wild. Um, I felt like he was going to put that game in the cage. That there was going to be a steel cage match. He had the chair. He was ready. And things were getting wild. But he just blasted into the sun. Yeah. It was very weird and funny and on point for... People say JonTron doesn't know how to end his videos. I think that ending and the fireworks ending are some of my, oh my favorite gosh. ones ever. So I don't know about that. Maybe not always, but he has he done some mega there, yeah. epic endings in the past. But this is another one I hadn't seen that I really, really enjoyed. This is up on the list for me of some of my favorites. Um, and if you guys in, enjoyed it, you should go subscribe to his channel. You yeah. should go check out some more videos. If this is your first time seeing John Tron, you got to go check out some of his stuff because it is pretty hilarious. Mm -hmm. He's got some great ones. Start off with what? The Flex Tape one. Yes. If you haven't watched any of his yes. stuff before, that That's one's where a really I started. good one. Yeah. Um, but if you enjoyed our reaction, you could give us a like, subscribe to the channel. You could even give us recommendations for things you want to see us react to yeah. in the future. You can do that down in the comments below. You can do that on our Discord. Or if you are a patron on our Patreon, you can do it in the comments there. Or you can shoot us a message on the Patreon. Uh, links to all of those will be down in the description. And if you like live streaming, we go live every Monday and Thursday evening at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. You can come hang out with us there. Or if you want to see us live stream some reactions, you can go check out our Twitch on Thursdays uh, around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. We will be hanging out there doing some live reactions. So go over there and check that out if that's something you're interested in. If not, we just appreciate you for being here. But that's going to do it for this video. See you guys. See ya.